Is every day a challenge and it seems like it's never gonna get easier? If that sounds like your business, this is the video for you. Hey everyone, I'm Jacob Godar and my channel helps contractors deliver and clients experience a luxurious everyday life through property transformations. Today we are talking about how to simplify your business. I kind of led into that asking, is your business something that's super, super hard? It seems like it's never gonna get easier. Uh, my guys can never go out and do anything on their own. There's always a problem. I always have to be there. It's always gonna rely 100% on me. If that sounds like you, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you hit the subscribe button, leave a comment, say, I have subscribed. I wanna connect with each and every one of you. Watch this to the end because this is the video for you because I've been there, I've felt like that. And sometimes I still feel like that, but some of these points that I'm going to list right after this are going to change a lot of that for you. So let's get right into it with these three points. And I want you to think through these and really dig deep and, and be critical of yourself on these because this is game changing. Point number one, you're gonna ask yourself, so you're gonna go inside and you're gonna ask your team, however many people that is. Maybe you're a solo guy and you've only got your girlfriend who sees a lot of what's going on and maybe uh, one of your friends or, or somebody that's helping you that's a friend or, or maybe it is just you. But So you're gonna ask yourself and you're gonna ask all the people working with you, around you, what is it that we're doing that's working that is we're just knocking it out of the park and we should do more of? That's point number one. So you're gonna take that and hold on to all of those answers. So you're gonna ask them this, we're gonna write this down and then we're gonna jump into number two. Number two, you're going to ask yourself and your whole team, what is it that we're doing that isn't working that if we stopped right now, it, it wouldn't change a thing. Maybe it'd make our lives easier and it, maybe it'd only be for the better if we stopped all those things. Are you ready to grow your business and transform your life? The waiting list just dropped for GrowCom, my new growth-based community exclusively for the lawn care industry, specifically for business owners just like you. And point number three, you're going to take all of those notes and you're going to change immediately. Be critical of yourself. Be critical of your company when you're asking this. The things you're doing more of, that you're knocking out of the park, focus on those things, expand those things. Maybe um, you're a lawn care business and your mowing is you knock it out of the park, you're super profitable, you're kicking butt, but you're trying to do these five other things just to stay busy. Well, maybe you can continue doing those five other things because they're not that hard, but you need to focus and kill it on the stuff that is so easy that you know, when I go up and swing the bat, I'm making a home run every single time on that service. And just like with the other question, the things that you should stop, that you shouldn't be doing anymore, you need to stop those. For us, it was large scale concrete. You know, we weren't, we were doing a lot of it in house. It was always stressful because it always made me be there to be the finisher, which I'm okay with, but I've got bigger focuses on growing the company and, and some other challenging services that I, usually it's based for us on the things I always have to be there for and be critical of yourself and stop those things. Because even as a solo person, if it's if it's super challenging for you, you could go out and kill it on something easy over and over again, rather than take on the hard, hard challenge. And so you're going to ask your team, the reason I said team, ask your team this, you know, there's a lot of people that think they're the fearless leader and they're the best of the best and no one else around them knows how to run the ship any better than them. I have been guilty of this, but I realize my team sees on the ground what we have the most problems with. And a lot of times, maybe even before me, they might see what we're doing that we shouldn't be doing or what we're doing that's really easy and they don't get why we're not doing more of. So you need to ask these people, you need to change immediately and use these things to simplify your business. A lot of us get into a million different services. We know, I know I have. I have got into as many as I've eliminated trying to make it easier by needing more work, by wanting to keep more people busy, by wanting to employ more people and grow the business. And you You'll learn the things that you're good at and the things that you can take on that are new. So I never say don't take on new services because you might be amazing at them, but know when to cut bait and know when the team says it's hard and you shouldn't be doing it to stop. 
use these points. It sounds simple and it sounds, to me it almost sounds like there wasn't that much depth or value in this video, but there is. Take those points, listen to everyone and yourself, be extremely critical, do more of what is working and stop what is killing you or is extremely hard immediately and your business will be easier and you'll be able to grow it faster into the future and provide a better life for your team, your family, and all of those around you. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. Check out these two videos in the end screen. They're also gonna be great and I'll talk to you soon.